Hi guys, this is Chris. Uh, I probably took your order over the phone or you called me with some questions about um, a machine you just purchased. Um, I thought I'd make this little video to basically make it a little bit easier uh, and user friendly for setting up your machine when you get it. Um, these are the, the most common questions I get after um, a customer you know, receives their machine or whatnot. Um, and then also some precautionary things so that we can stir off any headache on your end or our end. Um, I'm just going to use uh, this machine for an example. It's an S2000 Tabasco machine. Um, and I'm going to show you what you'll want to do as soon as you get your machine. Um, let me go ahead and turn this off here. Um, now in this particular machine, what you'll want to do is, you see where that power cord is down there? See how we ran it out the back and not down here? If you run it down here on the side, it's going to make your, your machine sit uneven. So you'll want to run it through the back. Um, and what we usually do is we keep, uh, keep it on a power strip and then we actually keep the machine on at all times on the inside. Um, and then we just turn it off and off of the power strip. So when you get the machine, you get it set up to where you want it to go. Um, you want to make sure that your main board, this is your main board right here left hand side and if you ever call because you have a question um, and I tell you to press a little white button it's this one right here this little white button here um, so you want to make sure this board is pressed in it should be fine but sometimes it gets rattled uh, during shipping um, and then you will also want to press this here this is your IO card so your main board your IO card and then I'm probably going to tell you to look for another one or even the instructions that we sent you, another I.O. card on the door. This is usually the hardest for, for me to describe to somebody. Um, it's actually right here. It's at a 45 degree angle. You just want to make sure that's pressed in too. Um, typically you're fine, everything should be fine, but sometimes uh, things do get dried around in shipping. Um, if we ever ask you to remove your cash box or reseat your... Uh, bill validator. Here's how you take your cash box out. See how I'm pressing, I'm pulling out, I can't get it out. See that? There's a little lever right here. What you want to do is press down and your cash box comes straight out, just like this. And you want to press it in. Now, see how that's not all the way in? You want to tilt it. Well, that's not a good example. There you go. Tilt it and it'll go all the way in. Now, if you ever need to take out your transport, if I say take out your transport, this little lever right here, this one here, you push down and you pull out toward you. See? Then you can press it back in. Now, you're probably asking, how do I put my candle on? I take candles off during shipping because it's just, uh, they usually get broke. And so then I'm out another $5 in shipping and it's just a headache. Plus, I get sick of my dad telling me to, uh, we keep spending a fortune and pointless shipping costs because of candles. So I decided to take the candles off. So here's how you get your candle put onto your machine. And in your machine, I either might put it here in the belly, down here somewhere, or I might put it behind this top glass. So here's how you get it. Um, there's a little notch right here. See how there's a little notch? You'll want to pry it out, and I'm going to put my phone down here for a second so I can get this off here. Okay. I got that off. Now, I have this here. Now, see this little here? There's one here, and there's one over here. What I do is basically lift up on this glass here, and it comes out. Okay? Now, your candle is going to be free. So, what you, all you're going to have to do is put your candle on top of the machine, and then basically line it up right in here. And then it plugs in. Back there in the back. Just one plug. Um, other than that, that's pretty much the uh, basics of the slot. Um, anything else, you know, if you guys have questions or you need you know, have problems, you can know, call us over the phone. Um, now, I'm by no means I'm a, a slot tech, um, but I can, you know, I can answer the basic stuff. Um, but if you have questions, then, you know, we do have a slot tech line uh, that you can call during normal business hours. Um, you know, we try to do our best, you know, even with the weekend stuff, I uh, try to answer as much as I can. If I don't know, I'm going to tell you to wait till Monday, um, because, uh, like I said, if I tell you to do something wrong, it could, 
be the expense of the machine. Um, because uh, I am not the most technical person. I'll be a, I'll be the first one to admit that. Uh, that's April's job, and she does a very good job of it. So, um, let's see, I'll put this back on. And other than that, um, enjoy your machine, and I guess I'll hear from you guys later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.